draw the development of the lateral surface of a funnel consisting of a cylinder and a frustum of cone so the diameter of the cylinder given 20 mm and top face of the top face diameter of the funnel given 80 mm so the height of the frustum and the are equal to 60 and 40 mm respectively so first we are going to construct the top view of this so top view of the cylinder is 20 mm and top face of the funnel is 80 mm so we consider here they have given the diameters we consider the radius okay the diameter of 20 it is reduced to 10 mm and the diameter of 40 mm so radius converted into 40 mm so two circles we have to draw in this from the same center point we need to construct two circle one is circle of diameter 10 mm and another is circle of diameter 40 mm okay so we show the dimensions for these two circles one is having a diameter of 20 and uh, another one having a diameter of 80 Okay, now we will construct the front view of this by drawing x y line okay you can make, mention x y v p h p now you project these lines from these outer boundaries to construct the front view okay so from the center point i will draw an axis you can see that uh, the height of the height of the frustum and cylinder are given 60 and 40 so cylinder height is 40 mm mention the dimension 40 now you can see we need to project the projections from this funnel also so it has to be exactly at a height of 60 mm because they have mentioned the front weaves of the funnel exactly equal to 60 so now I'm going to project it till there okay So that is exactly 8 mm diameter. Now we will join these uh, faces. So it is a funnel resting on the cylinder. So we will join this. Okay. By extending this, we are getting the intersection of these two lines on the funnel, wherein we get the exact uh, true length that is this slant edge true length we can get it by intersection intersecting these two lines in the funnel okay so we can find out the exact true length from this here so how much dimension you're getting it you mention it
same way for the upper side also you can mention the dimension okay so first uh, we are going to develop the development of the cylinder you can see here you can write that so so that is a cone structure and that is a cylinder structure okay so now first we develop cylinder cylinder development so we have the formula okay 2 pi r circumference is equal to 2 pi r r radius it is 10 so if you do it in the calculator so if you try to find out so you can type 2 into pi okay you can type 2 into pi okay you can type 2 into pi okay into 10 so you're getting 62.83 mm so So first uh, you should consider the height of 40 mm okay you can construct upside upside or downside no problem you can construct it so the front view height they have given 40 mm so we consider a height of 40 mm here And this need to be extend till 62.53 mm. So you can extend till 63. There is no problem. You can mark a point. You draw a straight line till there. So can mention the dimension there for the cylinder so it is having a height of 40 mm okay the total circumferential length it is 62.83 mm you can mention it okay Okay, now in the same way so we are going to do the development of the frustum here frustum of a cone okay <clears throat> you can see that uh, we have the lens so so first i will take a reference point so you can write down development of a cone so upper portion is a cone like structure so development of a cone is equal to we have the formula theta is equal to small r by slant heads into 360 degree so radius we have 89 and slant heads total length we have 89 mm okay radius total diameter uh, 80 the radius will be 40 mm and slant head is length total slant head length it is 89 mm okay so after <clears throat> so you can use the calci to find out how much angle you have to get it here so it is here we should get 161 degree okay 161 so take a reference point and draw a line of length it is 89 mm the length we should draw okay because we should consider that slant is okay that's why i've drawn the 89 mm and you should mark the angle here 
so angle it is 161 degree you can mark it now you take the compass so measure the length of 161 and cut the arc till that where we have marked 161 degree okay you can cut the arc till there can just extend till over there where we have uh, exactly marked the point right so till there you can extend the line okay so the angle we have considered here 161 degree so you can mention that uh, slanted is length it is 89 mm Ninety three, you can mention it. The length here we have that is twenty two. Can cut that because we should get a funnel, right? So, exactly at a height of twenty two mm, we need to cut the arc there okay semi circular because it is not complete uh, cone it is a frustum of cone so it will be formed like a panel that's why we need to cut it exactly 22 mm 